what you can see behind me is the axial skelter. Um, it's very similar to an Archimedes screw that you may, be, uh, you may have seen in other power generation systems, but unlike a traditional Archimedes screw, this has aerofoil sections as, as their cross section, which allows them to be, um, generate much, much more torque through creating a low pressure on the upper side of that aerofoil section. In terms of other benefits though, it's much more modular than traditional uh, tidal generation systems. The whole system snaps together very modularly and it can be 3D printed anywhere in the world by robots and then transported as a kit before being assembled alongside on the key. The other benefit of this being modular is that if anything on board it breaks, it can be snapped apart almost like an orange in segments. I and mean, these segments can be replaced as and when required and redundant segments as they're made fully of 3D printed plastic can then be melted down and reused. It's by connecting it up through this uh, PTO system here, we're gonna generate some torque and work out exactly how much power it can produce. The main test point today was to compare the data we received from from the Skelter today to the computational fluid dynamics, that CFD data that we've already had done in the lab, and ultimately try and get as close as possible to that data as, as we could. Overall then, it was a really successful day, and that's essentially because the data was really, really, really close to what we thought we were going to achieve. We were aiming for approximately 2.2 to 2.5 kilowatts today, and that's the exact range of data that we achieved today. So overall, a really, really successful day, and we're excited to see what we're going to be doing in the future.